Hey there, what's up everybody out there in YouTube land? This is Bob, KK4DIV, and today we're going to talk a little bit about this Balan kit that I purchased. This is a toroid Balan kit, the Amadon Associates AB240-250 kit. Um, comes uh, uh, shipped from uh, Altronics LLC. That's where I got this from. Um, it comes with this nice book. Uh, transform transmission line and transformers handbook uh, it tells you a bunch of different uh, schematics on different type of balance you can make uh, good information there uh, the thing is I've never built a balance before so um, I went online and I downloaded these uh, instructions on how to build a four to one current balance from hamuniverse.com and uh, I'm going to kind of go through these instructions here and uh, try to get this all put together. I think it's uh, something that's in uh, my abilities. So we're going to give it a shot. So the kit comes with, uh, I've already kind of started it here. Um, but it comes with some plastic tube. As you can see there, a small plastic tube. It comes with a, a coil of a, a magnet wire. And what you do is you got to put the magnet wire into the tubing. Uh, which um, I guess kind of insulates it so you can uh, run um, the, your double windings there right next to each other and it's not going to get shorted out. Um, so what I've already done here is I've taken my length and I've kind of folded it over and uh, then uh, cut it at the halfway mark. We've got to uh, build uh, uh, or coil, wind our coil, sorry, around this toroid donut here uh, with a double winding so we've got to have a, have a cut in half to do that so um, that's it that's what we're going to be doing here and I want to get started on this okay what I'm doing here is every few inches down this uh, double winding they call a bifiller winding hope I'm pronouncing that right uh, I'm placing a little bit of an electrical tape just to keep the wires together. So I'm going to show you how that goes real quick. It's uh, uh, fairly straightforward. You just want to keep the two wires close. And I'm doing it, you know, every three or four inches or so. I'll put a couple of uh, rounds of electrical tape on there and cut it off. And then I'm kind of straightening the wire out as I go here. Kind of keep it close together. And where's the end of the tape? Don't you hate it when you lose the end of the tape? <laughs> there it is. All right. Put that there. All right. Go around a couple times. There we go. Cut it off. Try not to cut my finger off in the process. That would always be good. All right. Hope you all are still being able to see all this. Continuing to wrap these wires here together. Love projects like this. I wish I could do more of them. I just, you know, I feel like I don't have the knowledge necessary to do a lot of this stuff, but uh, I wish I did. But I guess this is the way to learn. Look it up and just dive into it. This would be a good project for clubs and things like that on a Saturday or you know, a club meeting night or something to get a couple of these and anybody that wanted to build their own. Uh, four to one ballon or one to one ballon or whatever kind of ballon they want to do they could uh they could do this it goes uh it'd uh, be good for some of the newer hams to learn some of this stuff i never had anybody show me any of this stuff but it would certainly be uh certainly would be good to to see to see to learn to teach all that. Oh man, that one was tough. Okay. 
Okay, and I think we're gonna, I think I'm gonna end it right here. This will be the last one. There we go. Folks, what we got here is we've got the, uh, the two wires. They've been taped off together here. And uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, mark our ends so that uh, know which one is which. So I'm going to do that with a piece of tape here. Because you've got to know which one you're dealing with because uh, some of these have to be soldered together and things like that. So I'm going to follow this around here. And this is the top one, top one, still at the top, still at the top, still at the top, and that's going to be that. You want to make sure that you're wiring this up correctly. Alright, so those I know are going to be the same one. Alright, now the fun begins. Alright guys, so this is what we've got so far. The first couple of turns to the toroid. And um, the instructions say to make them tight but not overlapping. And we need to do eight of those on one side. We'll come going clockwise. And then I need to do another eight going counterclockwise if I'm reading the instructions correctly so we'll continue working on this first couple of, uh, of uh, loops down we're still working on this okay. Bunch of wire to be messing with here. All right, so we got four. Still one through the middle here. Close, but not overlapping. It says so. Make them overlapping. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seventh one. <laughs> this should be eight. Okay, that's what we've got. We've got eight through there. It is tight. A very tight fit, but uh, we've got them all in there. All right, folks, so this is what we've got so far. We've got uh, half of the toroid wound, and it wasn't so bad. It was. Uh, 
a little bit tedious with that big strand of wire there but we got it on there and uh, hopefully I can fit the other eight turns on the other side so it says if you were running in the clockwise position on this side you'll go counterclockwise so that's how we'll do All right, that folks, so this is the amount of wire we have left let's see what we can do here to to finish winding this thing so as I just said uh, if you started doing it clockwise which would be counterclockwise for the camera then we'll want to do it counterclockwise the other way so what we'll do here is we'll start with uh, uh, some wire and we'll start winding this thing around First one always seems to be the hardest. Okay, that was done. Let's start winding this around. Seven. <laughs> I don't see how I'm going to get eight on there without overlapping just a little bit. Make sure we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, I need one more. On there, but that last one's overlapping just a bit. We'll see how it works. There we go. All right, guys, so we got the toroid wound here, and I'll be honest with you, I goofed a little bit on this. And um, I mentioned that we need to label the ends, and I've got winding and cut, and it got messed up, so I had to go in there and kind of follow each one around and uh, figure out which one is which and I took a sharpie now and I've wrote little numbers on each one so I know which one goes to which. So if you follow the schematics given with these uh, Hand Universe uh, instructions here, the schematics say that uh, four and eight, I mean four and six get uh, soldered together. So I've already taken four and six here and I've pulled off the uh, plastic shielding uh, this is magnet wire, so there is a little bit of uh, a coating on these wires, so I scraped off the coating. And what we'll do here is I'll kind of twist these together, and then I can come back and uh, solder some uh, little bead of solder on there and, and get that all soldered together and going real nice there. So, I've done that. And uh, the next step will be to uh, solder these ends together. And according to this, one and five and three and seven will get soldered together. So I have a little bit more soldering and twisting to do. And then this thing will be wound and ready to go. So there it is. All right, guys, I made a bit of a mess here on the table, but this is what I've got so far. Uh, did the soldering needed to be done uh, these two wires and these two wires were soldered together and then I soldered those two wires together there so what we've got here these two ends will go to the 
uh, wire for the, uh, the wire for the uh, dipole antenna will be connected to these um, and then I'll get an SO239 connector to connect here uh, marked with black tape the one that's going to be the uh, ground and this is going to be the hot uh, part of the connector and uh, get us a get me a project box to uh, put all this in and uh, we'll wrap this little project up so for now we're gonna wrap this video up and uh, leave it at that and I'll probably make another video once I get a box and get it all put together and then we'll test it and see how it works so thanks for watching guys thanks for sticking with me with this quick uh, afternoon project Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have any pointers or have any questions, feel free to ask. Might not have all the answers to your questions because, like I said, this is the first time I've done it. Um, but uh, it wasn't too bad. I think it came out pretty well. And uh, hopefully it all works out when I test it. So, 73 guys, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want. And we'll catch you next time.